Okay. 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 Frame battles. Frame battles. We um we went to a mall yesterday, and uh, I met a girl in the entrance. She, she looked like she was working in hospitality, and uh, it looked like she was just finishing work. And the usual approach. Got got the logistics. Worked out that she didn't live too far away. Uh, seemed like a nice girl at the point. At that point, anyway, there's no red flags, and uh, pretty much organised to meet up straight away because it was the weekend. So I'm with my student, and so obviously I ask her to bring a friend. Even better, the friend turns up, and the friend is smoking hot this is this is obviously something that is a good idea to do I recommend you guys do that as well you you meet a girl and you have a wing you get the girl to bring a friend not always but a lot of the times that friend will be hot she'll she'll pick out the best looking friend because it'll, it'll make her look good so they turn up and I I promised well, the, the date was supposed to be, we're going to go and um, have Japanese. But as I do quite frequently, I will change the plan. Really just the idea of, or the, the suggestion that we're going to go to Japanese was more just to hook them in so that they'll come. And depending on what the situation is, I'll change the plan uh, quite spontaneously. And I did that. Uh, we got some... We, we got a bunch of, like, a drink each. I got uh, got both the girls a, uh, like, a pink drink, like a vodka raspberry, vodka strawberry. Me and my student, we had, like, a whiskey and cola. And we took them to this beautiful pool. As you can see, you would think this would be a good idea. Take them to the pool, have a drink around the pool. It's on the weekend. Maybe after having a drink around the pool, we'll move on and... Um, We'll, we'll feel it out and we'll see how it's going you know maybe there's a possibility maybe we might be able to pull directly home now it's a bit shaky hold it like that the girl started saying oh I want to go to the Japanese place now at that point it's perfectly okay I just said look um how about we just have our drinks? We'll go. We'll go to the Japanese uh, restaurant a little bit later on. Let's just chill out around the pool. And then a couple of minutes later, she goes, "Hey, I want to go to the Japanese place." And she started pushing the point. It it, it actually flipped into a, a frame battle quite fast. Uh, my student instantly goes, "Well, how about we just order delivery? We can get uh, we can get sushi delivered." maybe get a few more drinks we chill out around the pool which is a great idea and it's a rational solution to the problem um, if we want to hang around the pool we're the men right and we come up with a solution that should be able to tick the box for her as well which is okay well she's still getting Japanese food which is what I kind of promised and we get what we want, which is hang out around that beautiful pool there and have a few drinks, have sushi. That should be a rational solution to the problem that she should accept, right? But she kept pushing the point. And I noticed immediately at that point that this was a frame battle and a massive red flag letting me know what type of girl she was. Now, when a girl is pushing, you know, how can I say this? When she's 
not accepting the rational solutions that you're going to come, you're going to bring to the table. Um, that means that your company isn't as important as her getting her own way. And that's a huge red flag. That means that her getting something from you is more important than her hanging out with you, which means that whatever you're bringing to the table is more important than actually dating you. And that frame battle that she started pushing, she said, I wanna go, I wanna, I wanna go to the Japanese place, and she even started saying, oh look, I, I want to go to the Japanese place or I'll, I'll go by myself. And she started pushing it hard. Even, even though at that point, her, her friend was hooked with my wing and it was going really well with them too. They were, they were hooked in, uh, the friend the friend was quite quiet and happy to go along with anything. The only one causing trouble um, was my one. <laughs> and uh, so at that point, I started pushing back and uh, my student was like starting to think, oh, maybe we should uh, capitulate. We should give her what she wants so that we can keep the peace. And I, uh, you know, as you do, sometimes you're sitting there and you can text each other while you're there. I just said, no, 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 no. Never, never, especially if you've given a rational solution that should have been acceptable to her and she should accept that because we're, uh, she should be wanting to just hang out with us enjoy our company also we are the men so we should be leading if you give in to her then she's not only won the frame battle she's also proven to you that she has nothing but contempt for you by enforcing an irrational almost irrational rules on the date not willing to negotiate at all she's just wanting wants to engage in a frame battle just for the the sake of doing so to enforce her will upon the day and and at that point you know I'm, I'm I'm a bit older and a bit of a degenerate I've dated more girls than I would care to admit so after you date thousands possibly of girls you start to notice patterns and this was a major red flag for me I could notice that this frame battle that she wanted to enforce on all four of us was a major red flag that showed utter contempt for all of us and the girls turned up they were quite well dressed almost like they were able to go out to a nightclub or something later on and then I started thinking, maybe this girl had such contempt for us, she was going to come out, have dinner with us, get us to pay for her sushi. She wanted to do that early. That's why she was being uh, so bitchy about the whole situation. Have dinner with us and then go out clubbing or maybe she had something else planned and she wanted to exploit us for... For dinner maybe maybe because the Japanese restaurant was nice she wanted to take some Instagram photos put it up on a do a little story before she goes out and meets her friend or who knows maybe she had some other guys lined up for later on that night the dating market is brutal guys you have to go in there with your eyes open so I wasn't willing to capitulate and I was happy to battle this girl and at that point I just started, oh no it's okay, we're just going to chill here, you can go <laughs> uh, and the three of us will stay 
And that was kind of the, the game that I was playing. And my student at that point, he was starting to get worried about the whole situation, understandably. The problem is, I was trying to explain to him that when a girl starts engaging in an irrational frame battle like this one was, there's a very good chance that that cannot be salvaged. And if you were to just capitulate and give her what she wants, and then after the date she goes away and who knows, she goes off and meets some other guys in the nightclub, right? And you're unaware of it, you're naive, you give her what she wants, she might come back next weekend and use you again for something else. Hell, you might date her for six months without even sleeping with her. She'll get everything that she wants out of you, milk you, milk you for everything you've got. And then when she's starting to hit the wall, she might decide to marry you. You might be her fifth choice on her, her list of simps. The, you're the, the ultimate simp that capitulated to all of her frame battles and she realized that she can get her way with you anytime she wants and so therefore you would make the perfect boyfriend slash simp slash husband eventually marry this woman while she's sleeping with the guy next door hell maybe she gets pregnant with some other man and you bring up her children not realizing that they're not your own children you don't get a paternity test done on the kids Ultimately, 20 years later, she divorces you and takes half of your net worth when you spent 20 years as a, a simp slash slave to this woman. And the reason is uh, simply because you didn't notice that that frame battle on the first date was a sign of impending doom for the rest of your life now I'm a bit of a special case I can spend one date with a girl notice some red flags and see how that's gonna pan out now here's where the end of the story happened <laughs> those girls they end up getting a little bit frustrated we we had our whiskey and cola the girls uh, the girls, oh one of the girls didn't even have her drink she just wanted to, uh, go to go to Japanese and she wasn't happy about it I was happy to battle her so eventually um, they left so they left we didn't pay for their taxi we didn't pay for anything my student and I um, my student was like oh should, should we have you know like most students just give the girl what she wants and then hopefully she gives me what I want in return as soon as they leave in the taxi we just start we we start opening up two, two sets in the mall anyway and <laughs> we met some more girls anyway because we live in abundance over here and um, and you know our phones full of numbers anyway but the very next morning, I get a text from her going, Hey, good morning. Um, I'm a little bit short on cash. Can I, can I have uh, $200? Yes, that's, that's right. The frame, barrel, frame battling irrational nutcase starts asking me for money the next morning. Screenshot it, send it to my student. And I told it, and I already gave him this talk. I said, look, if you if you give in on the date and it and it's a, an irrational demand you know you, you've given a, a a rational alternative that she should be able to negotiate with you on like we can get we'll get some delivery we'll just chill out around here don't worry we'll, we'll even pay for the delivery it'll come we'll have a few drinks around this beautiful pool we'll have a nice night together um if the girls even somewhat 50% interested in you she should accept that that should be like oh 
yeah, beautiful pool. He's, we've got some drinks, we've got some nice company. We're gonna have some uh, sushi delivered. Wow, let's chill out. But no, she wanted to go to the restaurant, right? There's something else going on there. And I gave him the talk about if you were to stick in with a girl like this, it just, just uh, you know, allow her to walk all over you, then you could end up marrying this woman and she could ruin your life. I sent him the screenshot, I was like, told you so. She had nothing but contempt for us. And it's very common out there, you know? Off the cold approach, you don't always see it. But the cost of one hour of our time on a date, what, well, maybe two hours, and a couple of drinks, chilling out around the, the pool, and then we end up going out anyway, um, just to find out that she was a nutcase um, that had contempt for us. Next. This is, this is the, the dating life out there. And the moral to this story is, if you find yourself, this is the ultimate, I would say it's almost a rule or almost a law. You go out on a date with a girl and she's putting down irrational demands on you. She wants to engage in a frame, a masculine frame battle with you. And you go, no, it's okay. Here's my solution. She doesn't accept your solution. She doesn't want to negotiate with you. That's a major red flag. Kick that one to the curb and keep looking. Because I promise you, there's so many good girls out there. So many. Um, they're everywhere. They're just not on Tinder or rarely in nightclubs. Mostly through day game cold approach, daytime, and obviously it doesn't mean that every girl that you approach in the daytime is going to be gold mine. She's going to be a nutcase like this one. Frame battles, massive red flag, moral to the story. If you want to get some cold approach coaching with myself, top link in the description, sign up. I'm based out of Sydney, so most of the coaching will be in Sydney. I do do travel immersions, um, but it's, it's not as often. See you guys in the next video.